Next in the line on this bank of the moat is St Agnes. There are two themes with the sculptures here. The main theme is for us to depict the figures of people who have benefited humanity. But the other theme is traditional saints who have a relevance to the Romney Marsh and wider local area. And St Agnes is one of these. The French word for a lamb is agneau, and St Agnes is always shown with iconography of sheep and lambs, often depicted carrying a lamb in her arms, or in this case with three lambs gambling at her feet. The lambs at her feet are by London artist Nicola Ravenscroft, and St Agnes herself, made in Portland stone, is by a young artist called Dan Davidson, who normally works in the restoration of cathedrals at Canterbury and elsewhere. His regular work is lettering and window frames and work of that sort. And he was keen to see if he could make a real sculpture and acquired this wonderful block of stone from which he carved St Agnes. The story of St Agnes is quite a moving one. She was a beautiful and devout young woman from a small Italian town and all the young men of good family wooed her and hoped to marry her, but she refused them all, one after another. At last they came to her in a group or gang and they said, If you will not be any one man's wife, you will be every man's whore. And they dragged her to the brothel in the town where she was stripped naked and she's depicted here afraid and trying to cover her nakedness.